Art has always been a part of Middle Eastern culture. More recently, countries in the region have been attempting to attract artists and collectors from around the world. Dubai-based The Braj Group saw a window of opportunity in Art Dubai a decade ago as its first corporate sponsor. Its lounge takes up prime real estate next to the entrance of the main hall. The partnership is led by this man, Frederick Secret, who knows a thing or two about the power of business networking. He came to Abraj from the World Economic Forum. You know, when you are in an art fair, uh, inhibitions are, are lowered, uh, cultural sensitivities are also lowered, and barriers are opened, and inspiration uh, sort of flows in. So what happens when this temporary fair leaves town? Unlike other cities with gigantic museums, Dubai has an organic art hub born out of an industrialized zone. The idea was really to build a creative uh, cultural destination for the city. And this is where we curated the community almost. All creative entrepreneurs, the risk takers, cultural producers, they all made of Circle Avenue their home. There's a commercial element because most of them are actually commercial businesses that I think are pioneers within the creative sector. Uh, but we also are becoming a holistic art scene. We are very excited to open and inaugurate the space and it will be an exhibition titled Syrian to the Light uh, and you can actually see the works are just being hung and you're getting the sneak preview behind the scenes um, and, and actually you are the first. You have this industrial rough artistic mix that works so well. And when we say we are in Al-Sakal Avenue, it's kind of our work is taking more serious. We do everything in-house, casting, gem cutting, um, 3D printing. We combine the crafts with the high technology, it's my favorite. I like this kind of uh, LC competition between different people who, who don't do exactly the same thing. There is a lot of charm in Al-Sakal Avenue because it's not pretentious, it's a mix of people, interesting, it's not only about money. What I wanted to do is to bring some artists from the US, or from Europe, or from Asia. Uh, most of the galleries around are more, even though they are international, of course, but they, talk, they, they bring Middle East art. So this is something that it doesn't exist really in the region. I'm sad and happy at the same time. Sad for my country and very happy to have this exhibition because this is Syria here now. What I'm excited to say is that finally creativity has a new home.